put your tips in our chest, which is right over here. If you'd like to take us home with you, you can do so using a little bit of rope and a couple of ball gags. Or, or you can take home a CD. Or you can take home a CD for a mere ten dollars. Also, I'm signed Bardic Inspiration. Bardic Inspiration made for me by Dr. Gus. Bardic Inspiration. It has Bardic Inspiration on one side, a picture of me on the other side. It costs five dollars, and it'll give you a plus five on all of your bluff checks when you get pulled over on the way home. Good gentles, uh, Good gentles, uh, You can also find us on the interwebs. I can be found on Instagram, the Boxy Bard, Facebook, the Boxy Bard, YouTube, the Boxy Bard, Patreon, the Boxy Bard, OnlyFans, never mind. Uh, uh, good gentles, I have one more confession to make. From you, and you're gonna, and we're gonna justify to you why the best Irish songs come from those countries. This side of the room, from Captain Tackless to my left. All of you guys, name the country. That is too pathological. Romania. Pennsylvania. Lithuania. That makes a bit more sense. with lithography. I got one. Is that how it works? Not really. All the best Irish songs come from Lithuania. Lithuania. It's the country I go to when I need some flattery. Need some flattery. You see, it's so good for my ego in Lithuania. Lithuania. That's where I always go to recharge my batteries. Oh, God. God. All the best Irish songs come from Lithuania. Lithuania. If you want to have fun, it's a place to have a ball. Have a ball. They also had one of the biggest empires in Europe. It's See, true. It's Europe. Because of Lucretia Borgia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All the best Irish songs, they come from Italy. Come from Italy. If I have a lass, it's the place I go to please her. Go to please her. And after I go to Italy, I go all over Europe. Over Europe. In that way, I think that I'm a little bit like Caesar. <laughs> a little bit. All right, I think I got one. Ah, uh, the best Irish songs, they come from Italy. Come from Italy. Rome has the best wine, I tell you it's true. Yes, it is true. I went there and some guy was handing out tiny little glasses. Tiny little glasses. I shouted, Lachaim, and realized I was the only Jew. <laughs> Country. 
movies, country some of your favorite movie, TV show, video game, erotic fan fiction, what have you. So, everybody, <laughs> shove your favorite mythological country. Narnia! Alright, I heard of Narnia. We people love here? Narnia. I heard Narnia, but yeah. people like that. Alright, let's go to Narnia. The best Irish songs in the world come from Narnia. Come from Narnia. She gave me quite a fright. Quite a fright. But later that night, there I turned the tables. Turned the tables. When I gave her a bit of my Turkish delight. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll go. All the best Irish songs, they come from Narnia. Come from Narnia. C.S. Lewis writes a story that will please us. That will please, please us. us. Damn it. Full of dwarves and elves and all sorts of fantastical creatures. Fantastical creatures. And an all-powerful lion of cat bits, a metaphor for Jesus. <laughs> all the best Irish songs, they come from Narnia. Come from Narnia. I hear it's quite the series, but I didn't read it. Didn't read it. And so I thought I might watch the movie. Watch the movie. That's right, you forgot there's a movie, cause nobody sees it. <laughs> <laughs> Was it over in that? Inspiration. We have two more shows today at 2 and 15 and at 4 and 30. Up next on this stage are the practitioners. 